from Daily Forex, this is Chris taking a look at dollar yen and Aussie dollar. And dollar yen, as you can see, has fallen um, pretty hard, but bounced back as we just continue to form these types of moves every day. 112, massive resistance. Once we clear that, we're free to go to 14, 114, that is. I think in this juncture, though, if we take out two of these candlesticks to the downside, that is an ugly turn of events, opening up the door to 108. I actually think that a pullback's healthy because when you go to the short-term charts, it shows just how grinding this has been. It's been relentless. Uh, one has to wonder whether or not we have enough momentum to go higher, but it certainly looks as if the buyers are going to have a go at it. Aussie dollar continues to test 60. If it can get above there, pretty impressive. In the short term, it looks like, uh, you know, most of the day we rallied a little bit, just kind of went sideways. Clearing 60, though, that opens up the door to 62 and a half, possibly 65. Looking at the weekly chart, inside candlestick could form a harami given enough time. It's only Tuesday, though. So I like the idea of buying pullbacks if you are so inclined to be bullish. Part of what could be driving this higher is the fact that countries around the world are starting to see some peaks. And that bodes well. That means that most countries are going to be out of, uh, you know, the flu here in a few weeks. Uh, possibly a month or so, and investors are always trying to price in the future, not the past.